facing a federal complaint and legal pressure from the city, a bulk storage operator on the southeast side will stop storing toxic manganese outside and suspend barge transfers during high winds to reduce harmful dust blowing into surrounding neighborhoods. Pittsburgh-based S.H. Belco agreed last month to follow a plan outlined by the Chicago Department of Public Health after Mayor Rahm Emanuel's administration rejected the company's proposed overhaul of the way it handles manganese, a heavy metal used in steelmaking that can permanently damage the nervous system and trigger learning difficulties, memory loss, and anxiety. Neighbors are increasingly concerned about the facility, prompted in part by what they have learned about problems with a similar SH. Bell operation in Ohio and by preliminary results from a University of Illinois at Chicago study that tested the toenails of neighborhood children for manganese. About 20,000 people, including 1,730 children age 5 and younger, live within a mile of SH. Bell's Chicago facility the promised improvements come more than three years after investigators stumbled across the storage terminal, between 101st and 103rd streets, while taking a closer look at two nearby sites that store dusty piles of lung-damaging petroleum coke along the Calumet River. Since then neighborhood activists have urged federal, state, and local authorities to crack down on local polluters with the same intensity that forced pet coke storage operators to eliminate their piles and change their handling practices. We cannot wait any longer, representatives from a coalition of neighborhood and health groups wrote in a December 19 letter to Emmanuel, citing an urgent need to protect children in light of the UIC manganese study. The UIC researchers have not published their results but they have told neighborhood groups that their preliminary findings suggest children in the area have higher manganese levels than kids from other parts of the city, according to the letter. Scientists once assumed only steelworkers and welders were vulnerable to the dangers of manganese exposure, including a condition known as manganism with symptoms resembling those of Parkinson's disease. More recent studies of children living near S.H. Bell's facility in East Liverpool, Ohio, have linked the toxic metal to lower IQ scores and problems with learning and remembering. Following a legal battle lasting more than three years, a court-ordered settlement required S.H. Bell to install air quality monitors around its Chicago facility last March. The equipment soon began detecting high levels of manganese in the air, and by August the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Chicago office had collected enough data to cite the company for violations of the Federal Clean Air Act. Levels of airborne manganese have generally declined since the EPA enforcement action, according to monitoring data posted online. In a statement, S.H. Bell said the company is committed to ensuring a safe and healthy environment for the community and our employees. We worked closely with the city to develop our recently approved dust control plan that goes above and beyond local, state and federal regulations, the statement said.